Alrighty, y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. We're looking at one of the Only in Australia compilations again. It's been a while. Uh, this one is for sure not the couple I've seen before, so hopefully you'll have some different, uh, you know, memes, pictures, you know, different clips of Australia that uh, could only be found in Australia. These are really, really fun, especially uh, for an American like myself. This is from a channel called Rebecca Ruiz, and this is going to be featured in the description down below as always and uh, this video is a couple years old and has barely any views so uh, I don't know maybe it's a hidden gem maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a bad thing I'm not really sure let's check it out okay only in Australia <laughs> well this one I expect to see in all these uh, that's the, the running joke right upside down okay this is funny <laughs> There is the uh, famous Opera House in Sydney, of course. Apparently, when some people see this uh, wonderful piece of architecture, they think it looks like uh, a bunch of dishes, okay? Uh, wow, that is that is something. I guess I could vaguely see that. That's not what I see. I think I see it for what it is. I, if anything, I think it more looks like, I don't know, like wings or something, or like a dove, you know, like a bird. Maybe. Not really. I think it looks like what it looks like. <laughs> That's funny, though. That's funny. Glendambo, Glendambo, something. Oh, that went fast. I couldn't even read all that. Oh, this is great. Population, 22,500 sheep, 2 million flies, and 30 humans. <laughs> well, there you have it. That sounds like an outback town. Buy one fish and chips for the price of two and receive a second fish and chips absolutely free. What a deal. What a deal is that, right? Do the math there. <laughs> I'll take the beer. I'll take the beer. That, that's okay. Freezing beer on a hot day. Soup of the beer. Oh, I'm sorry, soup of the day. Beer, again. Great. Look at this. This is amazing. Grab a beer. Run like hell if there's a tsunami coming. Sounds good. Drunken people crossing, crawling across the road, maybe. Okay. <laughs> Now, this is funny. This is funny. I have seen this in the U.S., you know, places like uh, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, right, getting really hot, driving with oven mitts, and uh, I can attest to that for sure. Uh, but why wouldn't this also be in Australia? I mean, you guys have some really, really hot weather, really hot weather, especially during summertime. Uh, I'm sure that's accurate. Have you guys done that? Got to let me know down below. <laughs> Look at that. I love that. Wow. Telling it like it is. Get your... Oh, that's awesome. That's that's clever. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold on. Wait. I got to see this. That, that's too much to look at. Hold up. So we're dealing with crocs. Crocodiles, obviously. Mmm, I feel like a dumb American right now because I, I'm not sure I'm getting this. Is this representing a trash can? Because it looks like he's pitching something there. No, because he's sitting on it. Is this representing a fence? It probably represents a fence. It's on the fence, okay. So if you do any one of these, you're done for. You're dead. But as long as you stay on the other side of the fence, you're good. Just don't lean on it, don't sit on it, Right? I hope I'm getting that. Darn it. I lost my momentum with that one. Wow, that crocodile has a hold of that helicopter. Is that real? If that's real, that's insane. I'm assuming that helicopter is still going to be able to go, but that croc is going for a ride. Post-production Ian here. Uh, just to counter what I just said, I don't know. Crocodiles can weigh a lot. Remember? three or 4,000 pounds? I think that helicopter is staying put. Or, if anything, getting tilted and uh, maybe causing a crash. Don't think that it's going to lift that crocodile up. That thing is heavy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you litter by the crocodiles? Got to go get it. Good luck. <laughs> I didn't get that one either. Yes, I've seen this. The kangaroos on the golf course is quite common, I, I, uh, I reckon. There you go. Who needs guard dogs when you got a bunch of ruse? Oh, wow. <laughs> that is 
That is uh, horrifying, isn't it? Uh, koala. Maybe it's a drop bear. We're not quite sure. I don't know. It looks kind of aggressive. Looks kind of aggressive. Might be a, might be a drop bear. And uh, he is definitely in a uh, oof, quite a position there. Uh, qu- imagine the uh, view of the road is not very good. <laughs> not very good here at all. But who knows? <laughs> Give cyclists space. Meanwhile, let's take up the whole lane. That is government logic. There you go. You know what? This is the truest one yet. That is so accurate. <laughs> oh, my God. The next 4,000 kilometers? Any of these are threats. And it equals, there you go, your headstone right there. So good luck for the next four freaking thousand kilometers. Oh, that's awesome. That is so Australian. Keep off the grass. Come on. Keep off that grass now. It's hard to... It's pristine grass in, in the desert here, okay? <laughs> Gonna mess it all up. Warning, police and thieves <laughs> patrol in this area. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's rich. Now this is real, 90 miles straight. I've seen this before. Uh, the the st- extremely just desolate straight road, 90 miles May I add, that was just a genius explanation of that. Wow. Uh, and then we have Stormtrooper here with uh, something going on here. I can't t- make out what this is exactly, but there you go. Uh, the Stormtroopers are not on the Death Star, got blown up, and uh, they are taking refuge in the Outback now. Perfect. It look, I mean, it looks natural. That is a badass van. Huge Ford Econoline, like E350 with tank tracks. I like it. <laughs> that sign was great. <laughs> oh my God. Go to the deli. Wow. Maccas. That sign is actually clever, right? Open 6 a.m., by the way. Uh, some Maccas aren't open uh, 24 hours down there, huh? Yeah, they did rebrand as Maccas, didn't they? Don't they actually say Maccas on the sign? I know they don't hear, but they do uh, in Australia from what I understand. That is a really long hand. Wow, that dude. Wow. That guy needs to be in a, a superhero movie. Gas mask optional. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. We have some bikes on the tree. There you go. To lose lit track. Wow. That's, that's rich. That's to the bathroom, right? Yes, I think it is. Uh, nowhere else. Nowhere else is two kilometers away. And then Barrington is nine. <laughs> and that's real. Of course it is because it's in Tasmania. Tasmania has the goofiest names ever. The goofiest. I'm talking way goofier than that. Uh, watch some of my map videos. I will highlight that in those. They're, uh, they're hysterical. And unfortunately, this is low res. I cannot, for the life of me, read that other than Australia at the top. But I imagine there's some funny uh, descriptions of different regions. Uh, and we have a thong vending machine. And this is truly only in Australia. You will not, as least as far as I know, you will not see a thong vending machine here in the uh, US of A. This is awesome. This is awesome. Are those real? Thong trees. Again, very uniquely Australian. <laughs> and it's even marked thong tree. There you go. See, a lot of foreigners would think you guys are making this stuff up if you tell some cool stories, some funny stories, some, some you know, uh, tell us about some unique objects and, and attractions. I think you were making thong tree up, but uh, there, the proof is in the picture right there. Pictures that didn't happen while well, you guys got the pictures. <laughs> Emu. I saw an emu at the uh, Phoenix Zoo, Phoenix, Arizona, at the zoo, and I live streamed it. So uh, if you want to peep that, it's probably from, uh, I think, January. I got to see an emu. Not very close, though. I was, I was pretty far away. They didn't let you too close. Emu's on the run from the police, of course. Uh, but the police didn't catch him, though, judging uh, from history. <laughs> 
Little Ugly Creek. Sounds great. Let's go. Let's check it out. Whoop, whoop. Why not? I'm not surprised. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's pretty scary. There is a risk for what looks to be cattle falling off the cliff. Hopefully not on your car. Uh, not to mention some falling rocks for good measure. <laughs> As if falling rocks wasn't a big enough uh, threat. And of course, I can't read this because I'm in America. I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, so uh, I wouldn't be able to read this down under shit right here, you know? <laughs> Bugger all, deadly spiders in the dunny, killer crocs, snakes, sharks. Oh, that, that looks like a great area. More snakes, baby-eating dingoes, of course. Oh, my God. I wonder what story that's referencing. Huge rats. Ooh. Uh, oh, actually, that is referencing, um, oh, God, what are they called? Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm so mad that I'm forgetting the name of the, of basically Rottenest Island. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Lots of sharks. Kangaroos with guns. Wow. Cyclones up north. Sharks. More sharks. Big hungry sharks. <laughs> and I cannot read these other ones. Uh, but lots of flies. Lots of flies in the eastern inland area here. And then, of course, your drop bears are up by uh, Queensland as well. <laughs> And that is a truly Aussie Christmas tree to end the video. There you go. Thongs all over and uh, a kangaroo with the beloved Australian flag. How about that? Uh, so there you go. I'm surprised that that video has like no views at all. We're like the only people that have watched this. So uh, definitely feel special if you watch this. I do appreciate it. And uh, we will for sure get more views than the original. At least I hope. I really hope so. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and check that out. From Rebecca Ruiz, if you must, it will be linked in the description down below. And throw a thumbs up on this if you really enjoyed it. Maybe you learned a thing or two. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. It'll help the video out. Definitely leave a comment down below. If some of these wrong, some of them made up, you know, hash it out down below. Uh, educate me further if you would like to. Subscribe. We're uh, past 50K. I do appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you again. I can never say thank you enough for 50K. Awesome, awesome job, guys. And then finally, uh... Check the description for this original video for the Discord. Uh, really cool community over there like we have here on YouTube. And uh, check me out on Instagram and Facebook at IW Rocker. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun, be kind to each other. I'll catch you later.